with packed college parties blaring in their backyards. You turn the party off in one house, but they pop up in another. SDSU neighbors are getting loud too. Kids came back and were basically here to socialize. They weren't really going to be on campus. After weeks of complaints about off-campus parties, they were on the roof, uh, they were Oh, there probably was 100 kids in that backyard. San Diego police invited neighbors on a virtual call. Uh, we do work with SDSU and their police force. Assuring the public that officers respond to noise complaints, but violent crime remains the priority. Only with hundreds of COVID cases reported at SDSU since August. I mean, isn't this a public safety and public health crisis. Neighbors say more needs to be done to stop large gatherings before they happen. Kids are going unchecked with no consequences. And all we're doing is just sending them home after they've already had a super spreader event. Colleges across the country have battled with what to do over off-campus parties. Just last month in Wisconsin, students got so out of hand, university police ramped up patrols, breaking them up on and off campus. They're leaving us hanging. Jean Hager says neighbors here are being left to deal with the parties themselves. Yeah, yeah. So she calls in a party with 300 kids and nobody comes. We can't go out and talk to them. SDSU has contracted with a security company to help. If first on the scene, security calls SDPD to report the party, but university police can only assist. Those two police chiefs need to get together and let SDSU PD respond to a party without an SDPD officer already being on scene. And For now, university police officers hand deliver community notices. Officials say intended to inform about public health practices. Would the chief be willing to advocate to get a policy change on this so that SDSU police could assist with nonviolent noise violation party calls?